Hey, good morning, YouTube. I thought I would uh, check in with you. I'm doing a little sync here of my music. I wanted to kind of... Uh, another video, another time. Thoughts on the iTunes match. I'll do another review. Uh, but in the interim, this is the new uh, Windows 8. I went ahead and did the uh, Pro upgrade. There is a Microsoft uh, Windows 8 site. Um, if you bought a machine that was eligible to upgrade, they're doing it on their website for $39, um, but actually if you check and just put in some information that you bought a PC with Windows 7, um, it's only $15, bucks, $14.99 um, after tax. Uh, you just go to, you know, do the Windows 8 upgrade checker on your machine. Um, if you bought a 7 and you qualify, there's a link there for the site. They'll email you a promo code immediately and you'll get it for 15 this is the uh, first glance here at the uh, new Windows 8. Um, you can see the front screen there. Very clear, very clean, uh, very organized. Hadn't really decided if I was going to do that or not. Uh, we've got, like, for example, Mail, Internet Explorer next to that. This is, uh, I assume, their App Store, SkyDrive which there's some funny issues with SkyDrive right now coming out of the Apple Store. Uh, messaging looks like some real-time quotes for weather, news, and stock. Here's my desktop. If I just want to view that down here. Uh, looks like these are the applications that it would found existing and would go ahead and install automatically. Oh, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then here's what they said trending, and then this is kind of like that Xbox 360 theme with the tiles and everything centered there. Um, click desktop here. Okay, so here we are in the desktop, and this does look just like the desktop. Ooh, the, you guys can see that here in Windows 8, they actually have upgraded that icon. Turn my monitor here for you guys see for LAN it actually looks like it has a network jack next to the kit next to the PC there uh, let's see what other first looks here say the graphics look good you can see guys a big start orb Windows classic orb missing not down there at the bottom click start here so here's the okay here's start like we know it Hmm. Well, guys, I'm about to get in here and dig around. See, Internet Explorer opens up like a real clean-looking app here. A nice full screen and search bar at the bottom. Huh. It, it, it did say just go to a corner. So there, if you go up to the corner here, there's your desktop to get that back. There's the start, and then the right side. Looks like a finder. Top right, it's all settings, devices, share, start. So there's that start again. <laughs> and desktop. Okay, this is kind of interesting. So we'll do a little more navigating. Take a look at here the uh, Windows 8. Well, that was kind of a fun little thinker. Where? Nope. I'm just wanting to navigate to like uh, my properties or maybe settings. Okay, here we go. There's LAN, sound, notifications, power, keyboard. Okay, control panel. Okay. Okay. Okay, so they got a facelift. I get it. I get it. I see what you've done. That's cool. I'm sure there's a few other features. I'm going to get, I'll play around some more. We'll take a gander at it. Uh, change PC settings. Hmm. We got, okay, here we go. So, under PC settings, you're going to have your account, notifications. Oh boy. Search, share, general privacy, home group. Syncing. I know when you first install your ask if you want to supply a Microsoft account because you can actually sync your 
stuff similar to how you can with Apple across all devices. Microsoft really taking a shot here, at, you know, bringing everything closer together. Um, here's that desk, desktop view again, and back to the start. Uh, let's see how iTunes opens in Windows 8. I'm sure you guys want to know about that, and so do I. Now, I did upgrade, I thought, to 11 before I did this, but may, I would assume that would have done it already, because an old version probably wouldn't go on 8, but we'll see what happens here. We're going to try attempt to open iTunes. I'll tell you what, first thing I noticed, this is that, uh, this is a six-year-old PC, uh, Pentium D, four gig RAM, nothing fancy, but iTunes never opened that fast, ever, <laughs> before on any of the, whether it was Vista or XP, so, you know, and I don't know if you guys have seen iTunes 11 yet, um, it's a little, it's a little scattered, um, you're gonna have to get in there and take a peek and see what you guys think, so, um, that's just iTunes 11, but I mean, you can see I've got other shared libraries and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's pretty clean. Now, they did indicate that uh, their browser was extremely fast. Now, I will notice right off the bat, I'm typing in, uh, for example, speakeasy.net, uh, which should already come up as a favorite and not a Google suggestion, so obviously I can see my settings from IE, Internet Explorer, didn't, my favorites didn't port over, I'll confirm that, but I'm not seeing it, it should have already came up here, um, assume under favorites, so let's hope I'll click there and they're actually there, threw them all in a wrecked order, but yeah, you know, we can go ahead and take a peek at that, okay, I'll give you guys a preview of what type of speed tests I'm running. Comcast connection, uh, it's the Blast internet package. And we'll see what type of speeds we get in here. With, I'm happy with that. Should get about four, maybe five. Hey, we'll take it, you know, it's a little speed test, a little minor uh, Windows 8 review. Um, go back here over to iTunes. Uh, like I said, folks, there's your music, how they lay it out, it's just a tab. There's like your TV shows or your apps or your, you know, home libraries that you're sharing if you need to do updates. I haven't used this machine for a while, so you can see, folks, 106 updates available. Uh, automatic updates, uh, downloads, like, if there's updates available for an app and you own it, it should just update on all iTunes, I think, so hopefully we'll see them make some changes there, but, yeah, guys, like I said, go out there, Windows 8, um, I'll try to put a link at the bottom where you go do the Windows 8 upgrade tool, and then you can go supply your information if you recently bought a PC and qualify. Um, and then just they'll email you a code immediately for a promotion. So instead of paying forty dollars for the Windows 8 Pro upgrade, uh, you actually only pay fourteen ninety nine, uh, and you can use credit card or PayPal. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe.